Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. It's time to test Nippon Steel golf shafts and see how they all compare. Nippon has a wide range of golf shafts ranging from some of the lightest steel golf shafts out on the market up all the way up to the heavier golf shafts out available there as well. So there is a range from about 69 grams to about 130 grams. We are going to test that range and take a look at the performance differences between each model. So for this test, I'm going to hit five different golf shafts. I'm going to hit seven shots with each golf shaft with the TaylorMade P7 and B7 iron. With a TaylorMade adapter, we can change out these golf shafts and test them with the exact same golf shaft so there's no bias here. So the golf shafts we are going to test are the Zealus 6. This golf shaft weighs 69 grams and is one of the is probably the lightest steel golf shaft out of the market. Next up will be the 950 GH Neo. That golf shaft weighs 98 grams. Next up will be the Modus 105. The weight of that golf shaft is going to be pretty close to 105, 106 grams. Also will be the Modus 120. That will be about 114 grams in weight. And we'll also test the Modus 130. That golf shaft today will weigh 124 grams. Now, when I say they weigh a certain amount in grams, we're going to test stiff golf shafts across the board. If we are going to play, test a extra stiff golf shaft or a regular golf shaft, what will happen is the golf shaft will be lighter in the regular golf shaft and the weight will be heavier in the extra stiff golf shafts. So I'm going to stick with stiff golf shafts across the board to keep this a good true test here as well. So I mentioned I'm going to hit seven shots, take a look at the numbers and see if there's any performance differences with regards to getting fit for the right, correct weighted golf shaft. If you do like this content, please subscribe to our channel. Click that subscription button down the bottom there if you can. Uh, also give us some comments and click like on the video as well. We really appreciate all your feedback. I'm going to get after it and hit some golf shots. Let's take a look and see what the numbers tell us. So I hit seven shots with each golf shaft with the same club head. And let's see if there's any trends. So first, let's start with club speed. So I have toggled the data to rank the club speed from the fastest to the slowest. So what's really interesting, and this is a trend that I would also expect to happen across the board is the lightest golf shaft created the highest club speed. The l heaviest golf shaft created the lowest amount of club speed. And right across the board we can notice the NS Pro Zealus 6 started with 91.8 miles an hour of club speed. The NS Pro 950 Neo 90.1 
the Modus 105, 89.8, the Modus 120, 88.8, and the modus 130 88.2 so it trended in that exact direction next i want to take a look at bull speed and see if there's any if that trend was the exact same trend was and from the lightest golf shaft created the most amount of bull speed to the heaviest golf shaft had the least amount of bull speed and the exact same trend if we take a look at the efficiency 142 was the highest amount with the NS Pro Zealous 6 golf shaft. And 141, 141, 141 with the next three golf shafts. And then the Modus 105 actually had the least amount of efficiency. So kind of interesting that the Modus 105 was the lowest amount. Even though it wasn't the lightest or the heaviest, it was just a shaft that was kind of in the middle. Can tell probably that one wasn't the right fit for me. Next trend I want to look at is spin rate. I want to see if this trend carries true, whether a lighter golf shaft spins more than a heavier golf shaft. So we have a range from 62.58 to 56.32. NS Pro Zealous 6, the lightest golf shaft, 62.58. NS Pro 950 Neo was the next lightest golf shaft, 959.25. Modus 105, 5836. Modus 120, 5722. And then Modus 130, 5632. So that exact same trend which we saw with the club speed held true all the way through with spin rate as well. So really kind of interesting to see those trends. Want to look at carry distance and see if that trend remained the same. It did. The exact same trend. Uh, with regards to carry distance, I was carrying the ball the furthest with the lightest golf shaft, 184.4, and the lowest distance with the Modus 130, 179.5. Um, so really kind of interesting trends to take a look across the board. I do want to look at height, because that was another one that interests me with regards to whether a lighter golf shaft flies higher and a heavier golf shaft flies lower. And the trend remains the exact same. So the NS Pro Zealous 123 feet in the air, where the Modus 130 was 98 feet in the air. More important is dispersion. So let's take a look at the dispersion pattern and see if anything stands out to me. We will first notice the NS Pro Zealous 6, the lightest golf shaft. That was the light blue circle. We'll notice it had the furthest circle to the left and the furthest circle to the right. I did have five good, nice swings rare in the middle, but my misses definitely were exaggerated with that lighter golf shaft. So my dispersion pattern was the widest with the lightest golf shaft. If we look at the heaviest golf shaft, so that's the Modus 130. Notice 130, that one was probably trending just a little bit more to the left for me on average. I had one dot that was right of center over here, but then all the other six dots were just a little bit left of center. If I was to take that one dot that was right of center there out, you'll notice I had a trend of the balls consistently being just a little bit left with the, with the heavier golf shaft. And that's just because, because I like to play a little bit, a bit of a drawer. And that's just player dependent across the board. Uh, let's see if there's any other trends that we kind of notice. The Modus 120, I would say that was the tightest dispersion of them all. That's the white circle. And one thing I liked about the 120 is not only was the dispersion probably the best from left to right, but also was the best from north to south as well. So it was the most consistent with regards to carry distance there too. So I play a golf shaft that weighs 125 grams. So I don't quite play the heaviest golf shaft at 130, but I don't quite play 120, so I'm right in between. So that tells, that gives me peace of mind knowing that I'm in the right ballpark with regards to the weight of the golf shaft, that golf shaft that fits me really well there across the board. So really interesting data. This was a fun test to test the Nippon golf sh shaft range. It wasn't every single golf shaft, but this was five golf shafts from a range from about 70 grams in weight up to about 125 grams in weight. So we definitely tested a range in weight. It was a really good test and 
the hypothesis held true this time. So right across the board, we notice trends with regards to lighter golf shafts flying a little bit higher, spinning a little bit more, heavier golf shafts flying a little bit lower, spinning a little bit less. So really interesting test. I'm glad that you could watch this content. We've got plenty more coming your way in the future. Thanks for watching.